Two sources with extraordinary access to the Vatican reported a short while ago that the Vatican believes a deal may be nearing completion on the case of Manuel Noriega. Representatives of the Pope, President Bush, Noriega, and the new Panamanian government are said to be working out details of an arrangement under which Noriega possibly would be guaranteed safety in a third country and possibly he would agree to face trial somewhere. No other details and no other confirmation available as we begin this broadcast. What we do know is that Manuel Noriega is safe this evening in the Panama City Vatican Embassy. He drove there yesterday from a hiding place only five minutes away. A State Department source said tonight that the United States has asked in what he called, quote, extraordinarily tough terms that the Vatican turn Noriega over. This source said the Vatican is not going along with that. For now, Noriega's future is a legal labyrinth, as we hear from correspondent Richard Threlkeld. Christmas was just another dangerous day for some of the American GIs still trying to pacify Panama City. There was a sniper in this building overnight, so today they blasted their way in to get him. All they found were some terrified civilians. It is more peaceful than before in town, but with Manuel Noriega now accounted for, the U.S. command is now worried that his followers will take to the jungle to form an organized resistance, and that could mean more nasty fighting ahead. Behind the ring of troops on the Harbor Boulevard is the Papal Nuncio's residence, where Noriega has taken refuge. And all day long, it was the scene of comings and goings by U.S. military officials and diplomats. Working out what next for Noriega has now become an international issue. The Vatican insists he has not yet been given political asylum and doesn't yet know whether he will get it. There will be contacts between the concerned parties to examine the personal case of General Noriega in all its aspects. Noriega has asked for political asylum in Spain, but Spain has an extradition treaty with the U.S. where he's wanted on drug charges. It is uh, U.S. policy that uh, we would like to have Mr. Noriega in order to return him to the United States for trial. Uh, that hasn't changed. Panama, on the other hand, doesn't permit extradition. And officials of Panama's new government say if they get hold of Noriega, they'll put him on trial. And that surrendering to the church was the final insult. He has hurt our people so badly. And his actions continue to hurt our people. And he gets near God. I hope he's there to repent. So for the moment, Manuel Noriega is a man without a country and desperately trying to avoid the two countries, Panama and the United States, that want him most. Richard Threlkeld, CBS News, Panama City. Still to come on the CBS Evening News, U.S. troops in the field in Panama and the other news of this Christmas Day.